What is up lads, it is the Midnight Kid here back again with some eFootball 2022 gameplay impressions. So obviously there was a media event last week and the clips I'm using are from VGC, EveryEye.it and Gekisaka. I will get to more uh, and dissect a few more gameplays but uh, yeah, I mean we have gameplay. We have gameplay for eFootball 2022. Obviously the menu is the same, the colour scheme is the same, the colour palette. I think the player models look a little bit better. Um, some of them look very, very good. Um, others still need a little bit of work, especially, you know, faces and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely an improvement. I think the lighting looks a little bit better. I mean, it's hard to tell with these clips because obviously they're compressed and then they're back into, you know, me edit them and then up again. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to check out the full raw clips, I will leave in the description below, as I said, uh, for the three, the three media guys that I'm, the clips are from. Um, and we're just going to give our impressions, obviously, on everything that we're seeing here. I have a couple of clips uh, kind of cut and, you know, we'll dissect them in a little bit more detail, a bit of slow motion or whatever. But for the most part, uh, it's just going to be kind of my overall initial first impressions. And, you know, from here, it looks it looks a lot cleaner, you know, a lot, a lot more responsive, a lot cleaner. Um, you know, the players seem to have a lot more awareness to the ball. There's still a couple of issues with, you know, defending and responsiveness to that, which you can see in this clip here. Um, you can just see some of the players, uh, you know, are kind of like, they go from, I don't know, kind of like, they go from like hyper reaction to attack to defense. You can see it there with the right back Danilo and he's going to get caught out here. You see, he's just kind of like waiting to see where the ball is going to go. Then he's jogging, then he's, you know, sprinting and he gets, gets caught here. Again, some people, I'm going to rewind this back. Some people might complain about this. And again, it is a 50-50, um, you know, Sancho gets in around the, in around the back and there's no attempt from Danilo to actually get the ball at all, which is, you know, again, the defendant still needs a little bit of work. But then on the flip side, I do love that that is, you know, a variation of how you can score because that's just not possible in eFootball V0.9 at the moment or in PES 2021. Um, and as you can see there, I think that's a nice close-up of the player models. You know, the kits look good. Everything looks tight. Everything looks fresh. Everything is like nice and colorful. Um, again, now this is a very, very, very important feature. Now, when I played the early playtest back a couple of months ago in Windsor, we weren't allowed to record stuff, but we were playing a version of the game that was different to what eventually came out in 0 0.9. There was a meter like this in it. It was like an advanced kind of power driven shot, um, sharp kick. And you can see that the meter changes color and it's like a whipped in wicked kind of variation. So it's a modifier. So when you hold that button down, you can see here, first time absolute banger from Lacazette. When you hold that button first time and you press it and you get it right, it's kind of like a knuckle shot type effect when you press the press the button at the same time. Um, and I think we'll only get a feel for that when we actually play it ourselves, but it does add a lot of variation. You know, there's a risk and reward. Again, this is this is a huge risk and reward that I've seen. Um, and this is what I love, you know, defending Lindelof. You know, this is a 1v1 match. It's player versus player. Lindelof gets absolutely caught in no man's land. He commits to pressing forward, ball in behind him, and he's absolutely goosed. He's not going to get back to that. Again, some nice aerial battles here, nice aerial play. Tries to be fouled. Barker gets the ball back in. And again, that's a similar situation there with Pique not covering that front, front flank. Maybe that is something that they could look on. If I am giving feedback, I probably will investigate that. But I mean, from here, lads, I mean, this to me looks very good. I mean, it just, you know, the, the flow of the game, the responsiveness of the players. Yeah, there's a couple of niggles here and there. But I think that this looks very, very good compared to V0.9 and V0.9.1. I mean, you can just see that the direction that they're trying to go in. You know, it seems, yeah, you'll have a little bit of like ugly stuff every now and again and a little bit of stuff that you're like, OK, you know, I can I could do with that being improved. But when you're looking through the clips here, I mean, in my opinion, I think this looks a lot fresher, a lot more responsive, a lot cleaner, and there's a lot of variation. I mean, it's the first time passes you can see here, dispossesses. These are some really good clips actually here from the from the lads that were playing this in Japan. Uh, at the you know they had a, a, a an event there. Um, they had about forty minutes of raw footage. It's well worth a watch. You can just see here. I mean, like the the, the breakdown in the play and the actual difference between. It's not a ping pong fest. There is a little bit of like maneuver ability that you can actually play a little bit of football you know brought in by the mechanics such as like the driven passes the driven shots the first time passes the first time shots and then the actual dribbling as well as the responsiveness yeah i would like to see you know again 
the defensive side be upped a little bit again. But look at that. I mean, first time interception, first time pass. You know, it's not labored anymore. It's not sluggish. You know, you don't feel like you're fighting for control of the players. And I think a lot of the, a lot of the people that are enjoying V9 or V0.9, they've learned to just kind of like live with the mechanics of the game. Now, you know, I'm all for that as well, but the mechanics of the game still need to be sound. You know what I mean? It's not enough just to say like, oh, you need to learn the game. Um, and I think um, one of the guys from VGC that played it actually had a very good uh, way of putting that where he said that like, yeah, you can learn the mechanics of the game, but at the end of the day, you know, they have to be sound. And I would agree with that. I would think that that is a big thing as well, that, you know, passing needs to be crisp, shooting needs to be crisp. Yeah, you can have variability in it that you miss some shots that you should score, as in real football, and you score some goals, you know, off a rebound or whatever that you that you are very lucky to get. You know, that's football. You need to have a bit of randomness in it, but it needs to be controlled randomness, if that makes sense. So again, here you can just see the responsiveness of the the fake shot again looks a lot cleaner a lot crisper going through the motions yeah there's still a little couple of issues with you know s s things like foot planting and momentum and stuff like that carrying carrying you through but i think it's vastly improved based on these gameplay clips it's a very small sample size obviously um but you can just see you know first time passes into the channel you've got decisions to make you've got that split second extra that's not ping pongy, you know what I mean? That's my biggest thing is that like, I don't want a ping pong fest where you have to play triangles, that you have to play a certain way. I'm okay with the game having a couple of um, slowed down periods where you can actually have a little think. Now, the big test is obviously going to be whether or not the game, you know, how the game handles and plays on, you know, online, like with obviously with Dream Team, which is the new mode. Um, but even from these clips just playing out in the background here, I mean, I think it looks fresher. I think it looks a lot cleaner. I know I'm repeating myself and saying that, but my my three big things, right? Because I played an early version of it, it was more of an advanced version than V0.9. My three biggest takeaways coming away from that was the defendant was risk reward, which seems to be back based on these gameplay uh, clips here in a, in, a, in a way. And then you also have the, you know, the, being able to customize how you attack, you know, like whether you have a sharp driven pass, you first time pass, those aren't just, they're not available in eFootball v0.9 at the moment because, you know, the features just aren't there. So you can't do these shots and passes like you can in this build. And that's what was frustrating for me because I was playing the build in Windsor and I was thinking, yeah, I mean, there's so much like variability in it or variety in it that you could like mix and match how you attacked, how you defended. And even though it still needed a lot of polish and this still needs polish, obviously, um, you know, which is going to be, something that they're continuously working on as they've repeated in the statement that they said, I just think that this looks a lot more fun and responsive, you know, without being, without being a ping pong fest. That's my biggest thing. I think, you know, it would have been, um, it would have been a thing that they could have went back and just completely went back to PES 2021. But it seems that they've kept in, you know, the best bits of eFootball that people were actually, if they scratched away and got over a lot of the ugliness of V0.9, that they were seeing, okay, you know, like, I can dribble here a bit. I can take shots. Like, look at that for an absolute rattler. Adriano in his prime would have been proud of that one. But, I mean, it's just an absolute bullet of a, of a shot. And if you're playing eFootball v0.9 at the moment, you know, that's probably a floaty ball in that you're not going to really, you know, struggle to keep it. Whereas if you're online and you have that in your arsenal, that you get your long-range shots down, you know, players won't be standing off you. You know, you can use it as a tactic. They're not going to stand off you because the long range shooting is back. That opens up then that when they try to close you down and press, you can catch them on the high line. So it's just about changing up how I think that they like, you know, attack, how you defend and whatever. And I think giving you as many options as possible. Yeah, lads, I'm going to end it there. So I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure and subscribe. If you want more of these, let me know as well. We will be doing a couple of streams quite soon as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously, we have new player models as well, which I, I'm just looking at here. New match, pre-match introduction screen. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're looking forward to it next week or even let me know, um, you know, just what your general thoughts are. So yeah. All right, lads. Peace.